The crew docking at the International Space Station this morning. Four astronauts from four different countries. The mission commander calling it a united team with a common mission. Three, two, one. Engine full power. And liftoff. Go Falcon. This morning, NASA's Crew 7 aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon docking at the International Space Station just moments ago after a 30 hour journey through space. This marks the first time in NASA's commercial crew program history that each crew member on board represented a different space agency. The crew taking off during the early hours of Saturday morning from Kennedy Space Center, the flight to the ISS taking just a little over a day, a far cry from the multi-day journeys of the 90s. Experts taking note of the international cooperation that went into this mission. Even during times of conflict, space is, a, is an area where We've all found agreement because space is the environment for everyone. Raised on Long Island, NASA's Jasmine Mogbelli is a former Marine pilot and mother of two who says she's excited to put her astronaut training to good use. To finally uh, do a spacewalk for real would be really incredible. Um, and really just day to day, the science experiments we do. I'm really excited about the, the human research aspect and how we're part of the experiments. This mission coming on the heels of NASA's announcement that it's been studying the feasibility of developing hypersonic flight for commercial use. The agency revealing that it's partnered with Boeing and Northrop Grumman to develop roadmaps to make this sort of trip a reality. It's a very exciting time now for spaceflight, and I think what you'll see is in the next five to ten years, the amount of successes and increase in capabilities is just going to become more and more rapid as we go along. It sure will. And by the way, Jasmine is the mother of twin girls, and she took their bracelets to space with her just to make sure that she's still connected. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. Yeah. So it's a nice sweet. little show and tell for them to bring back. Absolutely. Yeah, the girls and their families, I'm sure, are so proud. For sure. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.